Uh, this is actually about my third time, maybe. Um, I know it's been going on for a while, but um, not that I just got hip to it, but I just started to just submerge myself in it. You know, it was another thing to do, another thing to interact with. And, um, I mean, everything in the creative endeavors, it, it takes time. You know what I mean? You have to put your time due. You have to have, you have, to have patience. And things just start unfolding, you know? So I'm just, I'm living out my dreams. You know, blessings be to the Lord, and that's it. Um, like New York City's like staple influences and like kind of changing the format with your art, with the way you're fashion, with the way you're associated with, how's that like responsibility for you? It, it feels, it feels great, honestly, um, I'm not new to it, you know what I mean, um, like in the street, like just back in Harlem, when me and Ferg would just run around, and me and Ferg and everybody, and we kind of had that same platform, and uh, that same outlet to people, and people were just like, yo, we really did what y'all doing, and so I was accustomed to it, and I noticed like we are contributing to something, that's the biggest blessing. You know what I mean? Like I always tell everybody that's trying to pursue art or young artists that want to dive into fine art and stuff like that, don't chase the money. You know what I mean? Like money will follow. You could be a truck driver and make a lot of money or you know what I mean? A construction worker and make hella money. But when it comes to art, you have to just love the craft and you gotta what you're doing is you're really just trying to contribute to people's lives. You know what I mean? Art and things around art push culture forward. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the blessing for me that I'm able to just contribute and give back. The same way like William de Kooning gave back to me when I just got on painting, you know? Do you feel as though you're, you're a part of the new New York Renaissance that comes from Harlem, ironically, with the A7 movement yourself? Yeah. And, yeah. I, would, I would definitely, and being that you put it like that, that's a good way to put it. Um, I feel like it is like a pool of like a young Renaissance in a new, in a new wave, uh, you know, musically and artistic and fashion. That's a Renaissance. That's like a shift. And once it shifted, we were the wave, the wave runners, you know what I mean? Like, we were the one that caused the wave and went at the top of the wave, you know what I mean? So, that's how I've always looked at it. And um, that's, again, like another blessing to just be in that position and be around like-minded people and creative people that drive you and inspire you to do what it is you love to do, you know what I mean? With the news of, condolences, of course, with the news of Yen's passing, yeah, if there was just one story that you probably may want to share, a unique, funny story about... I got, I got a cra I got a thousand unique stories with Yams. Like, that's my bro. Like, but a lot of people don't know, like, me and Yams met in seventh grade. We was kids, like, literally, we was kids. And uh, one story I will tell from around that time, I think it was seventh or eighth grade, and we were in arts and crafts, ironically. And uh, my hyper-energetic, artistic ass, I was building a house out of like straws and um, the, the, the ice cream sticks. And we had glue guns. This is my first time ever using a glue gun. The glue gun is hot as And I remember, I just thought it would be funny. I don't know why. I poured mad glue on the stick and I slapped it on Yam's hand. It took him about eight seconds to notice it was that hot. He started screaming like Mariah Carey. And I felt mad bad because he had a big red scar. And I was like, he already got a birthmark. I'm going to give him another scar. But that's one, you know what I'm saying? I always think about that time because that's what made us close. And he was like, it's the scar in the school, you brother. But you know what I mean, like, you know, it's all unfortunate. You know, that's that's unfortunately the cycle of life that you have to die and pass on. But um, it's just it's just really whack that it happened so abruptly and so randomly. Like, I'm still fed up. You know, I'm just happy I'm able to smile through it all. But but he is in a better place. What you have going on is moving on for this year, right? I know you did a lot. You did a lot of your race. Yeah. A lot of people may not know, but you were part of a, a very, very cool campaign in yeah. Las Vegas for the UFC. Right. All the fighting. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what UFC event that was. I yeah, I was. Uh, it was. I was actually supposed to do a lot more than yeah. I contributed. I contributed creatively, like a more creative direction. Um, still a part of that. Right, band. still a part of it. Yeah. So yeah. Right, still a part of that. Well, so, you know, I just, I just got finished doing Art Basel. Uh, it was it was a good success. It was a beautiful beautiful time. I mean, compared to New York's weather, it's always a good time. Always a good time. Um, I'm working with a couple of. Uh, I'm in talks with some galleries now. Um, none that I really care to name at the time because we're just in talks. Yeah. But what I'm really planning to do right now for 2015 is get my solo exhibit going. That's like above all my priority, get a solo exhibit. And, um, you know, I, I think 2015 will be very entertaining for all those that's, that's watching. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Sports. Let's talk about the Super Bowl right now. Who are your picks? I'm going for the Seahawks, man. I'm going for the Seahawks. Why? Yeah. Why is that? Because I never really was into the Patriots. Right. Every time they, 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 they went up against somebody and it just happened to be somebody I dug, I was like, you know what, the Patriots can go ahead. They're a good team. But the Seahawks, that hunger, that hunger, that tenacity is unmatched. And that's what I'm about. I'm about that hunger, that tenacity, that underdog winning. That's, you know, so I, I resonate to that. I really, I really do. I can connect to that. Do you have any athletes 
Yeah, you trying to buy some of your pieces now? Um, yeah, definitely. I got uh, David West from the Pacers. He's, um, he's been inquiring about some work for some time now. Um, David West is like family, and ironically, we got the same last name. So I just like, yeah, that's my big brother. You fucking... And um, who else? A bunch of people. I'm really into soccer, man. I'm really into, like, you know, fo football. You know what I mean? Bayern Munich, man. Bayern Munich, Germany, man. And they, those are my boys. Those are the beasts right there. So I'm definitely... I want to do some things for the team, not even just paintings personally. I want to do some, like, creative direction for the team, man. Yeah, what's going on? This is Jay West here. I'm here from uh, Dunk 360, checking in with my guys. If you don't know, now you know. Jay West, uh, a fine artist. I've been doing this for many years and continue to do so. Uh, if you want to see some of my work or just follow what it is I do, follow me on Instagram at Jay West Art, J-Y-W-S-T-A-R-T. Dunk 360, out.